Alright guys, we're normally not doing recoveries on the channel because it's normally us needing to get recovered. But we had one of our best friends reach out to us and he told us he was in trouble. He sent us a video of what was going on and we took one good look at it and realized there's no way our Jeeps are going to touch anything there. So we telegraphed our buddy Robbie Layton because we know he's got some recovery stuff. And he watched the video and said we need even more backup so he called Heavy D Sparks. Dave didn't even ask any questions. He sent us a text and said, meet us at his shop tomorrow at 9 a.m. So we're bringing you guys along for the ride. We're pretty much just helping everybody get things loaded up. We're taking the heavy rescue skid steer It'll go on a trailer by itself, and then I think he's got the big excavator he's planning on taking up and hauling up with the semi. Then I think another semi is pulling another trailer with swamp mats or something like that. I don't think anybody really knows the plan around here except Dave, and he just got here, so we should be hitting the road soon. This is going to be a whole video itself. <laughs> Why don't you just ride hey, right there, some, Robbie? Uh, some spray oil. WD-40. I'm out. Look at that. The cock's got me out. Good luck getting back in it. Robbie, you did so good, dude. Know, dude. I'm telling you, you guys made fun of these? These are like, these are like superpowers. Yeah, and I haven't even locked them into four-wheel drive yet. <laughs> dude, just wait. Oh. Four low. All right. Yeah. We got her in four low. If I would have locked them in before I got in there, I'd have been out in no time flat. into the old tractor man <laughs> she ain't pretty but she does does the job dude this, this is my very first time in a semi truck ever. are you serious yeah this thing is huge dude Is that 14? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, let's try it. You know, it's the worst that can happen. Chop off the boom, stuck underneath the, the train track. So we've got a 14 foot bridge right behind us and this thing is barely going to fit if it does fit. So I'm gonna ride up here and make sure that we don't clip the top of this boom. Holy crap, that is tight. That was so lucky. Thanks for the ride, man. We made it, we made it, we didn't even die. No, we didn't even die. All right, this is our buddy Tyler, childhood buddy. What's up, dude? Good to see you. You too. So what's, what happened? Well, we're digging a pond and hired some cheap help. <laughs> <laughs> some, some cheap help that does a good job, but anyway, they got in that mud. So what got buried. stuck first? Did the dozer get no, stuck? No, the Mini X got stuck and he tried to Baja throw it with the dozer. And, and they got, got that stuck. stuck. Yeah. Did you guys try and recover it like so far? Have yeah, you tried? My, my dad brought his farmer's tractor over and yanked on it and it didn't work. So. <laughs> oh, <sweet. laughs> what? what did you never get it out? Never get it never out? out. Alright, let's go see it. I'm, I'm curious to see this. Oh boy! <laughs> Holy! Oh my God, Tyler! Yeah, you weren't kidding. I was really hoping that we weren't gonna get here, and it would be like, ah, that's not that bad. You could yank it out with the truck. 
You just yeah. never know from a video. This is worse than Dude, the video. There's no way. Even if the mini record was going, it wouldn't be touching <laughs> any of this. So what's our job here? What are, what are we doing? We're supposed to just stand here and smile. Yeah. And anytime getting, anytime yeah, we get asked to, to grab a chain or a strap, we just do that as fast as possible. Yeah. Yeah. With that, no questions. No questions. Asked, we just redo it. Yeah. If you walk to where you're going really fast, it looks like you're doing something. Yeah. So we're just gonna do a lot of we're that. We're just gonna walk around a lot. <laughs> I'm freaking pumped to see Dave's new winch box on his skid steer in action. It is freaking huge. Like, the camera does not do it justice. Hands, it's probably not that normal that what we're trying to recover runs, right? That's kind of a plus. That's true. So the battery might be dead on this thing. Oh, so maybe it doesn't work. So it might be a dead pole with the bucket down. Where's the battery? Is it in the... God. Battery's on this side in the back, buried battery. in the mud. <laughs> so the battery is buried in the back of it in the mud. We're normally working around the clock to make these videos for you guys, so we never have time to make a decent meal. And if we do, it's like a couple chips and a handful of Skittles. So if you guys are like us, pay attention to today's sponsor because it will be your new best friend. Factor has gourmet chefs that prepare fresh, never frozen meals for you, and they ship them straight to your door. That's pretty good. Is it? It smells good. I like that. The cool thing about Factor is you don't gotta go to the store, bring everything home, prepare all the food, wash the dishes, wait for it to cook. All you gotta do is throw this in the microwave and you're ready to go. These meals are gonna come in so clutch when we get back to work on this mini truck. Factor is your solution for fast premium meals without the need for cooking. So head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code PECKBROTHERS50 to get 50% off your first box and 20% off your next box. That's PECKBROTHERS50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box, 20% off your next box while your subscription is active. Thank you, Factor, for sponsoring today's video and supporting our channel. That winch line is literally like two inches thick. It is freaking massive. It's like so heavy you can like barely drag it up. It's honestly crazy that this winch can handle that big of cable. But they're gonna snatch block it to the Mini X. Robbie is snatch blocked up to the bucket of the Mini X and they're just gonna try and dead pull this thing out of here. We got a snatch block going back to itself. So some say that that doubles the pulling Asking, so. What do others say? What do yeah, others say? Other people say that yeah, doesn't. I don't think Other so. people say they don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Your thing killed it, dude. Let's go. It pulled one tiny thing but it didn't break his arm off, so that's what it's here for. It's called assisting. So we're looking for the battery, and he's got leads back here that you can plug into from like another junction like this, but we don't have one of those. We only have a jump box. So I think we're gonna have to pull this whole side thing off, get to the batteries, jump it, and then we can get it out of the way. Unless we can jimmy rig it. So it looks like while they're trying to get that thing started, they're gonna get going on this dozer. We got Braden there driving. I'm pretty sure he's gonna hit reverse instead of drive. <laughs> yeah, he don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's an operator. He'll get that sucker out. Other than I probably shouldn't tell anybody this, but I didn't know what I was doing in there. <laughs> you didn't need to tell anyone. Didn't we look, all knew. It looked like that. I figured it out though when we got up here. Did you? Yeah. 
So our lifelong buddy Tyler owns a corn dog company here, local, and decided to bring the trailer out and feed everybody here for helping them out. So I guess I get first dibs on the first corn dog. I've never had one before, but it looks like a ding. Wow. Look at that. We freaking love this guy. What you want? I want your best corn dog. <laughs> Best one? <laughs> Which one's the best one? Yeah, that one. <laughs> what one is that one? This one. You promise it's gonna be good? I think. You think? <laughs> Give me some bones. Thanks, dude. If you want to try one of these out, go to The Corn Dog Company in Southern Idaho on Instagram. They post all the time where their location's at and where they're gonna be. Bobby, thank you so much, dude. No problem. I didn't do anything. Was good to, no, Except you were. You had. I brought the baby equipment. We couldn't have done it without you. Don't worry. <laughs> You're absolutely right there, but. I, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know where to go with that. You know, we may give you a lot of crap, Robbie, but we love you. We freaking love you, man. Don't crap in the hand that feeds. It was. Uh, now you have to find us a harder one. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> More challenging, right? Yeah. If you want to get stuck again? Let us know. I was gonna say I can get <laughs> there right now and get stuck again. <laughs> yes, sir. Would be real hard. <laughs> Guys, like I said in my video, this is not my video. This is their video, but you should definitely click the link and subscribe to their channel. These are good dudes, and uh, what I love about them is they're hungry. They're ambitious. They're they're go they're getting after it. They're not like one of the, the some of the bigger channels out there that kind of get some success and hit autopilot. I don't think that's these guys. So click below, follow their channel, follow Robbie, and uh, you'll have some, some entertainment events. So today's Alex's birthday, and because we told him he ain't getting the day off, he can work on anything he wants in here, and we'll help him. For some reason, he didn't want to work on Brady's Jeep or the mini truck. I'll have him tell you what we're going to do today. I'm finally going to get these guys to help me put the wrap on my Jeep. I've had this wrap for months dying to put it on i just can't do it alone so i had to wait till my birthday to get these guys to help me red's pretty much our favorite color around here and i thought what a better color to make my jeep the silver the 50 shades of, of gray over there is getting pretty old so we're gonna make her fire red and she's gonna look sweet <laughs> So this is where we basically just realize we don't know what we're doing. None of us have ever wrapped anything in our whole life. And you're starting with the hardest part. And we're starting, well, yeah, it's like the smallest piece. We don't want to mess up stuff you're going to see. With our luck, they're going to quit making this color of wrap, and we're going to be about six inches short. <laughs> there we go. There's our, there's our first piece. Okay, well, here we go. If the camera is shaking, it's not me. It's actually this little guy. I got put on dad duty all week long. Maybe we should have started with an easier piece. <laughs> Where'd you learn how to do this? College. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's about time for me to go back in. You guys are on your own. We were on our own to begin with. <laughs> our camera guy had to go inside last night, so me and Alex just cranked, and this is how far we got. This stuff's like a lot harder than we thought it was gonna be, but it's turning out freaking sick. It's hard because you have places like this where you don't want to make a huge sheet and have all that waste, so you got to do this one separate. Make sure that it ties into the bottom piece perfectly. I literally redid this piece like six times, that's why I'm talking about it. The problem I'm seeing here is we gave Alex one day on his birthday to get all this done. <laughs> And we're bleeding way into past one day. So <laughs> you realize we have a lot to do on the mini truck, right? Yeah. Well, this was supposed to be one day. You and I both thought we'd get this done in a day. Yeah, yeah you, you're you part of that I'm too. I'm part of the problem. Like, at least I admit it though. I, I can't it. believe this is taking this long, dude. This is now probably 24 hours of straight work. Yeah, literally. Probably at 24 hours-ish. 
And we're Are we halfway? Probably, we're probably halfway. Probably halfway. Uh, Why don't we just have our shop guy do it? Oh. I am. Dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alex is the shop guy. That's right. <laughs> We found that this wrap doesn't really like to stick to the paint on this Jeep when it's got like sand and dirt and stuff all over it. Get out of here. Yeah, I know. It's weird, right? So we've been kind of wiping this whole thing down with alcohol to hopefully make it so it sticks. None of us know what we're doing at all. <laughs> well, you've wrapped before. Just well, a different that's kind. Just like music wrap, I wrap. But like cars, I don't wrap. <laughs> We're running out of wrap pretty fast, but I've got this one cut out ready for this fender. You think it'll actually fit this time? <laughs> wow. You know, it's actually kind of satisfying right now. <laughs> so when we get into the edges and the curves that you want to start screaming. We made no money this week, but we got Alex's Jeep wrapped. That's the most important. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty sick, though, to see this Jeep change colors. Well, we just ran out of wrap. But we got probably like 75% of it done. We got the grill, the hood, one door. This whole side's actually done, and that fender's done. And now we just have the back of that, the door and the tailgate and the windshield and the cowl and the brackets. That means Alex is finishing his crap on his own time because next week we're getting back to work on the mini truck and we got to put the car lift up. So if you ain't subscribed, you got to get subscribed. You don't want to miss the next video. Sounds good. Till next time. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>